measuring heat has multiple ways. You can use a range of tools from a mercury thermometer to a big and complicated thermal imaging device. Of course, you can use a portable thermal imager that is convenient, like a handheld imager or a thermal imaging phone, the Glory G1S. Measuring temperature on Glory G1S is a pleasant experience. G1S has the highest resolution and frame rate among all phones, making things much clearer for you. What exactly using a Glory G1S feels like? Let's figure it out today. The main camera is the flagship Sony IMX582 with 48 megapixels. It doesn't sound very stand out, but the strength of this camera comes in multiple directions. The sensors of smartphone are much smaller compared to camera sensors. So any raw photo captured by a phone sensor will never look good without algorithm. The algorithm alone cannot automatically make a good photo for you. The G1S has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 as the processor. It provides enough computing power to make a good photo for you. In the field, your job may not require you to take good and visually pleasing photos, but it will always need to be clear. Therefore, the G1S will suit your job more than you think. Processor is the core of the phone. It works in every part of the phone, like the night vision camera. The night vision camera uses the reflection of near infrared rays around 850 micrometer. The G1S night vision camera can help you see objects in even complete darkness. It still emits infrared rays and the screen may light up your face, but it is not likely to disturb wild animals or sleeping people. Cameras and processor is not everything. For me, very importantly, the Glory G1S looks really cool. I'm not an iPhone person, but I'm tired with how all Android phones look similar. The G1S instead looks great for me. To be honest, I feel weird when I test our phones outside of industrial or outdoor scenarios. If we bring it indoor or in the city, I often struggle with the weight and thickness of these rugged phones. Now, when testing the Glory G1S, I don't need to worry about the thickness anymore. I often forget I am using a rugged phone, except when people around me praise its exterior design. Well, yeah, it does look good, but it looks like this for a reason. See here? This is the Kevlar-like texture. It's supposed to make the phone stick to my hand. However, in real-life scenario, I like to grab the phone with a rope. For everyday usage, when I grab it, it just don't feel like dropping. What comes next? Game? Oh yeah, I'm a gamer myself. I tested the G1S on Genshin Impact. It's not perfect. You can sometimes see the aliasing problem happening. But overall, the performance was smooth and the temperature doesn't go up too high. You know, the G1S has the same processor as the other Glory phones. But the biggest difference in gaming experience is the thickness. The uneven back cover makes it feel unbalanced. The G1S doesn't have this problem. The tough virtual experience is important, but don't you forget, the G1S is also a tough phone in the reality. It is of course IP68, IP69K, and American Military Standard 810 Edge certified. Which means the phone can at least survive 30 minutes under 1.5 meters of water. Safely drops from 1.5 meter height or blocking 99% of scent. But for my personal experience, even if I merge it under 2 meter or dropping from 2 meter or higher, it still works fine. Most of the fragile parts inside were filled with the unique bow grid array underfill technology. And it seals the inner space of the phone to eliminate the possibility of water ingression. The rubber plugs on the bottom and the side seals the portals from foreign materials and dust. Dust will block these slots and make plugging cables and replacing cards very difficult. So remember to plug the rubber before you go to the dust field. Then the last fragile part is the screen. Glass is brittle, meaning hard against scratches, but shatters easily 
That's why no matter how hard or thick the glass is, it will still be vulnerable. What we did is to protect the corners with this continuous track design, giving it more buffer against drops on the corner. And we also lifted the frame by 0.3 mm. It reduces the possibility for direct impact on the screen. If you work on the scaffolder, dropping from a high place could happen often. It helps you at least lower the risks. Okay guys, that's all for the day. In summary, the phone is great for daily usage and professionally. If you have any more comments, just leave, a, leave them under this video. And I hope you can resonate with my feelings. We will see you next time. Every time when you walk into a cinema, you will always see moving images instead of still pictures. What if you slow the movies down and it start to look like a bunch of pictures? Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Behind AGM. Today, we will break down the frame rate of the thermal image for Glory G1S and Glory Pro. 200 years ago, a British scientist discovered the phenomenon of visual persistence. Every image received by human eyes will stop in the neural system for around 0.1 to 0.4 seconds. Later, filmmakers discover if we see through many continuous images within a short time, the image starts moving. That comes films we all love today. Early filmmakers also discovered a magical number, 24. If we play these images at the minimum of 24 within a second, the image starts to move. What does it mean to us, to the Glory Pro or the Glory G1S thermal image? The thermal image has a frame rate of 25 Hz, meaning the image takes 25 pictures every second. However, the image is not a pleasure video device, but a professional inspection device. 25 Hz for professionals means every sensor measures the heat 25 times a second, giving a more accurate real-time inspection. A quick reacting thermal image will help you understand the circumstances quickly. It also follows your movements if you if the frame rate is too low, the image will not follow the movement because some part of your movement may not be recorded by the sensors. Higher frame rates also means accuracy. Think about it, the thermal imager has more than 40,000 sensors and they all measure 25 times every second. It means the imager will take more than a million temperature data for analysis. I'm sure it will make your measurement better. If you look at the market, most of the thermal imaging products give you a 8 Hz frame rate. They usually give you an overlapped, laggy image. Although it does the same thing, but it's still frustrating. The accuracy is also the problem because it only sends half or one third of the data for analysis. This is not the only problem. If something is moving too fast, the image and the temperature will not be captured. So I believe you can tell by yourself what to choose. The concept of frame rate means differently in thermal imaging compared to normal video cameras. But it is nothing bad to have an imager with higher frame rates. Thank you for watching this episode of Behind AGM and we will see you next time. Imagine camping in the dark, but the bushes are shaking. You feel something is getting closer to your tent, but you can't see a thing. Any unprepared movement could potentially cost your life. What will you do, and what tools will you use? Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Behind AGM. Today, I will take a look at the applications of thermal cameras on AGM Glory Pro or Glory G1S. For professionals, the thermal imager has their own applications on the field. For example, if you are an electronic technician, the thermal imaging camera will tell you if there are unusual circuit loads happening. In many functioning machines, heat generation is almost inevitable. However, 
Most of the heat were properly radiated to the atmosphere instead of remaining inside the machine. Therefore, the first sign of any system fault is the uneven heat load. Let's get back to the power box. If it is functioning properly, there shouldn't be much difference between wires and the device. It is much easier with a thermal imager since it tells you the temperature allocation at a glance. You can inspect it from a few meters away and avoid touching it. Just like trying to spot HVAC leakage, the thermal imager gives you a chance to quickly diagnose across the house and find the small spots that raises your power bill. Well, what about go back to the tent we talked about at the start? You are alone at the tent. You can't see a thing under the veil of darkness. Turn on the light. You will expose yourself and disturb whatever there is. So the best shot you can have is the thermal imager. Most of the time, wild beast has different temperature compared to the bushes around it, which gives you time to prepare for anything that is coming to you. Thermal imaging device will work in other places as well, such as solar panel inspection or water leak at house. Water leak in family causes many problems, like resulting in molds, peeling off your wallpaper or the wall itself. Sometimes even damage your floor, and most importantly, it makes your water bill unstoppable. So before you find a plumber, maybe check the house with the thermal imaging camera is a better choice. Although the thermal imaging camera is a powerful tool for many problems, but you still need to be careful with some of the properties. First, the thermal imager will not see through objects. Second, don't use it for medical diagnosis since it is not directly attaching to your body. The measurement will not be accurate. Thank you for watching this episode of Behind AGM and we will see you next time. If we look at the resolution of a photo, the units are usually around millions. However, if we take a look at the resolution of a thermal imager, it's usually around thousands. The Glory Pro and the Glory G1S both has a thermal imager with the resolution of 192 times 256. Have you ever considered why the resolution is so low? Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Behind AGM. Today, we will take a look at the thermal imager of Glory G1S and what's going on behind it. This is a picture and it is made of small pixels. Pixels are basic building units of the picture. They are single colored squares. A 48 megapixel photo was built around 48 million pixels. I suppose every one of you has a phone and you all understand how small the phone camera is. The structure of a phone camera is truly brilliant because they built around 48 million small sensors in the platform which is smaller than your thumbnail. But how does this relate to the thermal camera? Camera sensors were built to detect visible light and the thermal sensors were built to detect invisible infrared rays. Infrared rays have longer wavelength than the visible light. That's why the thermal sensors have to be larger than normal camera sensors. Normally, an average camera sensor is around 1 to 2 micrometer and an average thermal sensor is around 12 to 17 micrometer. Hence, it is almost 10 times larger. It is extremely difficult to put a high resolution thermal camera inside a phone. The Glory G1S, on the other hand, has a thermal camera with a resolution of 192 times 256. More than 40,000 thermal sensors integrated in a small space. If you check Amazon, you will see most of the thermal images has lower resolution compared to this one. Higher resolutions will make you um, clear pictures and more accurate measurement because they have more data to be analyzed. Which to buy, it depends on you. But just don't forget, Glory G1S and the Glory Pro are also great phones to have. I hope this video gives you a clear idea about what exactly the resolution of thermal imager means. Thank you for watching this episode of Behind AGM and we will see you next time.